the VR video game Gorilla Tag is the reason I have 400 plus subscribers. I wouldn't be here, and neither would you, if I had never worked my ass off to make enough money to buy an Oculus Quest 2 and play this game. I am eternally grateful. And this game, damn, this game, it's genius in its simplicity. It's glorious. Let's take a look. Its gameplay is extremely weird, fun, and unique. It's great because it takes full advantage of the fact it's a VR game. Lots of modern VR games build immersion around the fact it's in VR, which is great, but they never build the mechanics around that fact. However, this is something Gorilla Tag is able to do in such a great way. So, uh, Lemming was probably doing some mushrooms over the border when he decided he would create a VR game about legless, low-poly gorillas running around a forest trying to burn each other alive. It was a great idea. Nay, a brilliant idea. Lemming immediately drive, tried driving back across the border, but he got into some trouble with the law because they found a pound of cocaine in his trunk. Luckily, he escaped when he enabled GTA 5 cheat codes. He went home and booted up Gorilla Engine 69.exe and started working. But the computer crashed because he's running Windows 10 and Windows is bloatware. He then went to sleep after trying to dual boot suicide Linux and accidentally nuking his entire hard drive after trying to find out how NeoFetch works. Anyway, uh, the next day he realized, while Windows was formatting his copy of Manjaro, that the monkey arms could serve as the central mechanic and could be used for the movement since Lemming had accidentally crippled all of his 3D Blender monkey models. He did more mushrooms and developed the greatest movement system based around VR. It truly couldn't be done unless he was baked out of his goddamn mind. It worked and he created a very simple yet complicated system. It's the perfect difficulty curve because it's easy to learn, hard to master. The mechanics are, at a base level, extremely simple, but they're designed so that you can master them and become Monkey Jesus. It's great, but also works perfectly with the map designs. The main map, the forest, is incredibly well designed. It's the same eight trees copy and pasted and resized. However, it works because those eight trees are designed to work perfectly with the gameplay so you can master moving through the trees. More maps were added, and they have their own special ways to master them, so it never ends up being the same. I started playing this game nine months ago, and it launched my YouTube channel. It started off slowly, but things like Gorilla Tag Secrets videos, my Gorilla Tag Iceberg, and the PBBV situation gave me this platform. Compared to other people, 400 is not a lot, but for me that's friggin' insane that 400 people would listen to me talking about this stuff, especially for such a niche genre like Gorilla Tag. However, I am trying to branch out. This is not the end of my GTAG content, not at all. I'm just trying to create variety. Still doing GTAG stuff all the way. Let's go, baby. That's what I've been waiting for, and that's what it's all about. I have the router. Lemming then decided he would superglue himself to his chair and post a message on the board every day in the game. This was officially the downfall of Lemming, as he developed his own Gorilla Engine. His modded version, Gorilla Engine 420, runs Crisis in the background while creating an infinite slide generator for the GTAG Beta 3 at 666 FPS. Lemming is now presumed to be dead, and his mushroom dealer and the ghost of President Burt Gummer are supposedly the people writing the daily GTAG messages. And that's Gorilla Tag, the story of a mushroom dealer doing his own drugs and creating monkey-based cosmetic deluxe loot boxes for 9-year-old children to buy. Then the once future president entices them to use their mom's credit card to get $5 early access boxes and n-word passes. Lemming's successor, Jim Bobby, the owner of LCQP, makes the children take over the servers and use these passes to scream obscenities at people trying to indulge in the masterfully crafted gameplay of the genius game that is Gorilla Tag. Thanks for watching.